rose we're going to show you this afternoon is Felicite Perpetu, a very old-fashioned rambling rose, been around since the 17th century, sometimes labelled Felicite et Perpetu, a few variety names for this, and it's quite a confusing little rose because let's just give you some detail on these flowers. The buds are pink. These open to a white flower with pink tips and in some places the pink can be quite pronounced. Here's a flower spray on the same plant and an adjacent flower spray. It's classically described as a white double cluster rose but just look at the variation in the colour and form of these flowers. Some have got really striking yellow sepals in the centre of the flower when it opens up. These pretty rapidly fade to a pure white double. This is the same plant but again looks like a completely different flower and this is quite characteristic of this plant and different sports of this particular variety have their own particular characteristics. It's described as a medium vigorous climber. This plant was cut back quite severely a couple of years ago because it just overwhelmed this arch. You'll see it's not fully out yet. Look at all those buds on the top yet to open up and the flowering duration of this is probably in total around three, three and a half weeks. It has a single big flush around this time which is late spring, early summer. This is first week in June and she's just coming into bloom fully. It's a strong growing rose off these established shoots from the base. Strong side shoots will occur. You can see one coming out there and these will grow away six, seven, eight feet. You'll also get some strong new growth from the base. That was one last year. So it is possible to replenish this regularly by cutting out some of this wood but you'll see the thickness of that original stem. This rose was inherited with the garden and has probably been growing here. Sequentially cut back, sometimes probably to the ground to repair the wall for the last 50 or 60 years. It is subject to a little bit of black spot, but to be honest, it's so profuse. And most of the leaves over winter is described in some milder climates as a semi evergreen rose. So a good choice for a hedge or somewhere where you don't want to completely lose all the leaf over a winter period. It's lightly scented, beautiful, sweet, classic rose scent and really gives us no trouble at all here apart from taming those really strong vigorous growths and tying it in to give it some support. It otherwise looks after itself and gives us this absolutely beautiful display for around a month every summer.